And good morning, I'm Sylvia the Crafty Old Lady. And if things look like they're in the same exact spot, they are because I'm filming this the same day I filmed last week's uh, collage. And sometimes I do um, film in batches. So this is week 45 of Marguerite Miller's uh, collage assignments. We need something dark. A song title, something sweet, text in any color except black, a gate or a fence, and the bonus is tissue paper, the wrapping kind. So I have some sparkly tissue paper that I'm going to use as my background. It's just going to be a one-page spread. Um, for something dark, I have these two black cats they're dark and they're also sweet cats are sweet but i also have this little painting on the wall here that looks pretty dark to me so these are all going to be in our collage i'm using this as our fence i thought they were cute they're little wooden like pieces from dollar tree and i'm just going to put them across the bottom of my collage i might put some marker on them to make them prettier. This is my um, text in any color because these guys are just best friends. And for also something extra for something sweet other than the sweet cats, I've got some little pieces of candy corn that I'm going to sprinkle around. So obviously I have to cut these out and I have to paint these. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. And um, I'm thinking, get my Posca paint pens out and just maybe paint the fence brown and the flowers, you know, different colors. And I think I go ahead and just paint the fence like this brown color. I don't know, maybe gray. My fence is gray. I'll I'll paint it gray. I think that would be prettier than brown. So let's go ahead. I wonder how much it's going to sink in. But it's okay if the fence looks a little washed out too. Because they do fade. I have painted on wood with these before. And it works pretty good. I've painted a lot of little wooden um, Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, and their angels, and their snowmen, acorns, stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about getting the edges done, but. I'm just going to do the fronts. And I'm also going to speed through this because I want you to see it, but I don't want it to take so long that you get bored. It's going to be pretty with all those colors on there. Uh, let's let that dry. Bring back our book and lay down our background. So, I know I don't need that much, but uh, let's see. I'm going to have to. I think I will cut it. So I don't totally destroy the whole thing. But I'll have to trim it. Okay. So I think we'll do it like this. Get that down. And then we'll be ready for 
all the other stuff. There, hope you're doing well. I might have said that already. <laughs> it looks like it's going to rain and I just hung my clothes up because I didn't think it was going to rain. I am done with this glue stick. We'll work with this one next. Uh, oh, I don't know. Purple. I don't think I want to mix the purple in there yet. Don't I have another one? <coughs> this one's a little. There. We'll use this one. Okay. Now we'll get our paper down. as close to the edge as we can. Oh, that got wrinkled and crinkled. I'm not worrying about wrinkles and crinkles here. So we got that. And now we'll trim that. Is it getting to be looking like fall where you are. The first and second week of October are usually our prettiest, so I want to get some fall footage to share with you guys. We live in such a beautiful area of New York that it just it always shocks me how beautiful it is when I drive around. You know, I'm sure other people live in beautiful spots too, but this is my beautiful spot. Okay, so now we have this, and um, I still have to fussy cut all this stuff out. So I'm going to do that off camera, like I usually do. And that's probably going to go up there somewhere. This one I don't really have to cut off camera. I'm going to leave that little edge to look like a frame, hopefully. Even when there's lines, I can't cut straight, it seems. So we got that. So that's just going to kind of be like on the background of the wall. i got to cut these two guys out. And then the fence is just kind of going to kind of go in front of them. Oh, I think that's so cute. <laughs> and then I'll just sprinkle some candy corn around. So I have my kitties cut out and we're going to glue them down. And I think, I'm not sure if I want to glue them all the way to the bottom. Oh, I guess I can use the purple for this. I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> okay, so we don't need all the extra purple though. So I think I'll just go ahead and put them as close to the bottom like that. Our little friends having a little party. And maybe it's a Halloween party. And I was thinking, why would this picture be hanging um, outside? Because obviously with that fence, they're outside, right? He might have to go up a little higher. Because the fence, I don't want the fence to cover his face. And believe it or not, I have lost my fence. <laughs> oh my god. Where the heck did I just put that? I put it over to dry and now I don't see it anywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to have to put him down. Okay, where did my fence go? <laughs> oh my god, oh. You could probably see him over there. I couldn't. <laughs> Gosh. So I think that's good. <laughs> For the fence, I'm going to use um, this stuff. Three in one here. I can't believe I didn't see the fences. That's so ridiculous. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and get this on. So, anyway, as I was saying, it's obvious they're outside because we have this fence with the flowers. And 
Honestly, tulips would not be growing at Halloween. <laughs> at least not where I live. But that's okay. <laughs> so this one's going to go here. Just like that. And that one's going to go there. I really like how these came out. I should use this stuff. I have a whole bunch of these little wooden things and I never know what to do with them. They would be good for covers. Okay. Not sure this has enough glue on it. So they're having a Halloween party outside and this is a Halloween decoration. How about that? That's what the point I was trying to make before. <laughs> I got disrupted by myself. So that's going to go there. We can use the purple glue for that. And the last thing, we'll put this here actually. The last thing was this I believe. So let's uh, see if we got everything that we're supposed to have on here. Best friends having a Halloween party outside. Alright, so something that's dark is this dark I don't know if you can see it even. It's a skull on an end table, like a table with some books and letters. So that looks pretty dark to me. And this, oh, a song title. I don't have a song title. Something sweet. I don't have that yet either. We gotta get our candy corn. We're just gonna... Actually, I have other candies too, since it's Halloween. I might as well put some of them on it. Halloween candy, right? Maybe a snake. I mean, no, no, not a snake. Maybe a, a, a spider even. Let's get some more candy corn. Are you like me and have a love-hate relationship with candy corn? Because I will eat it even after it starts making me gag. So... Actually, let's put this one here. We got this one up here. All right. I think there's one more candy corn. Maybe I should... Oh, that didn't stick. Maybe I should um, put something more Halloween-ish, too. I got other cats. But I don't, I don't know where they would fit in. How about a bat? Let's put a bat on there. Why not? So that we know... This is a Halloween party. All right, and a spider. We'll do a spider right up here. There. Okay, but I still need my song title. The Monster Mash. Let's write that down somewhere. <laughs> but where? I don't know. Um, Monster Mash is the only Halloween song I can think of. So, uh, I got a pen, dark black pen that I want to use. Where should I write that, though? The monster mash on here? Why not? It was a graveyard smash, wasn't that it? Okay, there we go. We've got something dark, and the cats are also dark. Song title, The Monster Mash. Something Sweet is all the candy and the cute little kitties. Text in any color, but black, so best friends, gate or fence, and tissue paper. I did everything. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Um collage because I really I think it's almost one of my favorite ones if not my favorite 
<laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.